So, you've seen an electric car move before. Uh, what was this all about? Okay, well, first of all, it's a 36 volt car. These are two stacks of lithium ion batteries, 10 of them for 36 volts, 120, 240 amp hours. For now, the actual configuration here of the drive. We have the CV shaft to the right wheel only, not to the left wheel, and a coupler that fits that shaft to the shaft coming out of this uh, 5 to 1 planetary gear, which has a name, and it seems, uh, that part number there, that's visible, and uh, and uh, this is just a plate I happen to have, so I used it to connect up the between the planetary gear and a 36 volt forklift motor. It's a pretty small one, 51 pounds. And now the uh, mountings for the motor uh, go. This one here kind of pulls up, and this one here pushes down and it's a, a tube because uh, the bar would bend, it did bend. This goes to this mount, motor mounting here. Uh, this is went to held the original engine up. This one was at the back helping to hold the transmission and engine up. Um, there was a couple of more mountings that I didn't use. and. Uh, so, as you see here, the uh, objective was to make an ultra-efficient drive mechanism. So we have uh, the planetary gear going straight to a CV shaft. There's nothing else in the system. It's just the motor through the planetary gear to the drive shaft. And the planetary gear is 96% plus efficient. Uh, that's uh, not to say anything about the motor. But the drive itself, the, uh, the coupling to the wheels, that's it. Uh, one ninety-six percent efficient gear. And uh, the, as for the uh, suspension, we've got. Uh, you should be able to see this here. I think. Um, I hope I've got that in focus. The the uh, motor and the. gear, planetary gear, and the CV drive shaft all go up and down at once with the suspension. They, the, they pivot a bit up and down. So that uh, takes care of the motor and drive. as f they, If you have a, a motor right on a wheel, then it's going to uh, be unsprung weight. Here we have essentially sprung weight that just pivots a bit with the suspension. And the other piece to the system is the uh, motor controller. So this black box up here, underneath some other stuff, that's the motor controller. Behind that is stuff that the motor controller needs, part of the circuit. There's a uh, Brake, circuit breaker and a, a contactor, a very heavy contactor to because uh, uh, this is a 300 amp controller so we've got plus 36 and ground going to everywhere and uh, then the plus 36 goes to the contactor and then it goes to the motor controller. So, and this is a 12 volt relay that uh, clicks everything on when you turn the car key on. So, uh, as you will see, there it is now engaged and off again when you turn the car key on. And then I was looking at my amps going along level ground, probably 30 to 70, maybe up to 100 when I was accelerating. And uh, over 100 climbing a hill 
And that's about that. Okay, here's a question I should anticipate that everyone's going to ask. Doesn't it slip with only one wheel driven? Does it pull to one side? And my experience so far is it does not pull to one side. It definitely does slip on the grass. I would not suggest this uh, for an off-road vehicle. And it has uh, highway tires on it, of course. So that's uh, even worse. It's definitely a one-wheel drive and not a four-wheel drive. The advantage of the ultra-efficient drive 96% is that uh, a lot of automotive transmissions are, to my understanding, as low as 60% efficient. So if you've got, if you go from 60% efficient to 90% efficient, you get uh, your batteries go one and a half times as far. So that's a, a problem with lots of electric vehicle conversions, as they just go through the cruddy old inefficient transmission. Uh, this is not the most efficient motor, but uh, I plan to replace it because what I've got here is uh, really not enough to put it on the road. It uh, runs great and all that, but uh, it doesn't have enough torque to climb steep hills and it doesn't have the RPM for high speed if you're going to use a fixed ratio like this. So I'm going to probably build an improved version of my electric hubcap motor that uh, will have uh, probably 40% more torque than this motor and uh, a much higher maximum RPM. And that will probably be 95% efficient. So then you get 95% efficient times 96% efficient instead of you know, 75% efficient times 65% or whatever the old transmission is. And uh, all of a sudden you've got a way better performance out of your, your batteries with a smaller motor and a lighter car. So there's no special springs in here. It's, uh, this is all this weighs less than the original engine and transmission. And because it all fits in there, because the transmission is just a planetary gear, the rest of the car is free for whatever it was used for before. There's cargo space at the back and the back seat with nothing under it and uh, everything's the way it was originally. So I guess uh, what I'd like to say is my, my ultimate is uh, that the car should, could use maybe 100 watt hours per kilometer instead of the sort of typical 100, 170, 180, 160 kilometers watt hours. Right now I'm charging this car off of uh, some solar panels that are on the roof of the house. If I try that with the leaf it'll just choke can't get 1500 watts, then you've got nothing. Uh, it might take a while to charge, but uh, you can charge it without being on the grid.